a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio and more carbon fiber to make a Formula 1 car jealous. And uh, you can't have one, of course, because the Austrians decided that 500 units would be enough for everybody on planet Earth. And by the time you're watching this, they're probably all gone. Welcome back to Long Way Home everyone. The place we're getting your motorcycle news is easier than explaining what reviews are and sarcasm is, but not by much. If you just went out and bought the latest 1290 Super Duke R, that's it. You're done. Joke's on you, buddy. That big scalpel, it's a kitchen knife now. It's a peasant bike. KTM has just released the 1290 Super Duke Double R and they have basically thrown everything they could at it. Stick around while we see what those crazy boffins have been up to. Okay, so the 1 to 1 power to weight ratio really goes well in marketing brochures, but uh, KTM might have stretched the truth a little here. You see, the 1301cc monster of an engine they have caged up in there doesn't put out 180 horsepower, but more like 179.5. However, let's not split hairs here. The claimed weight of 180 kilograms or 396 pounds is actually dry weight and even Dave knows you can't make a single horsepower without oil and gas and all those other lovely fluids. 180 kilograms though is still quite impressive. So how did KTM manage to shave off 9 kilograms of fat from the already anorexic 1290 Duke R? Well. Firstly, they decreed that everything that can be carbon fiber will be carbon fiber. The tail end, for example, is full carbon fiber on forged aluminium supports and only weighs 800 grams or 1.7 pounds. And uh, you would have noticed that I said aluminium and not aluminum because I am not some sort of monster. The wheels also forged have dropped one and a half kilograms or 3.3 pounds and remember this is rotational mass so the bike's agility factor will be multiplied. Fun fact here, KTM said they tested even lighter wheels but uh, that didn't work out since they were not rigid enough to provide proper rider feedback so fatter wheels go back on. The Austrians didn't stop there though, the chain guard, the mud guard, the brake duct, the fairing, even the ignition lock is made from carbon fiber. It's as if there was a sale on carbon fiber and uh, KTM was the only one that knew about it. The double R is also fitted with a special lightweight lithium iron battery which is 2.5 kilograms or 5.5 pounds lighter than the one on the now peasant single R. But weight savings is not the only change KTM made. In the suspension department, you now get the creme de la creme, the best money can buy. Apex Pros from WP's top tier for both the front and the rear. These offer full adjustability and this even includes height adjustment, which will obviously also change the bike's geometry. And the adjustment is the name of the game on this beast. The foot pegs offer 12 levels of adjustment. The bars can also move 22 millimeters front and rear. Height is also adjustable by 10 millimeters. And remember, this is a solo bike. There is no option for a pillion. And uh, all the levers on the bike are also fully adjustable. And for those that really want to squeeze every millisecond out of their Starbucks lap, the double R comes with GP shifting. This means that you can reverse the gear shift order so that if you're leaning really low to the left, you don't have to stick your foot underneath the gear shifter and have it scrape down. You just press on it. Some electronics have also been updated, mainly KTM just adding two more riding modes compared to the single R. A performance mode and a track mode. See the light of day. Performance allows more traction control adjustments and the ability to switch off the anti-wheelie because no young girl is going to take you seriously if you ride on two wheels and track mode also changes the TFT display to a more track oriented one. I think this bike is truly beautiful in its own right. It really looks like a concept model. Concepts usually get watered down by the time they get into production. With the double R, it seems like the opposite has happened. Unfortunately, because KTM is only making 500 units, this video 
might be the closest you'll get to the new 1290 Super Duke RR. So um, here's a zoomed in photo just for you. However, in Europe, pre-orders start today, so you might be lucky and catch one. Link in the description and if you're outside the EU, KTM says to check with your dealer ASAP. Alright, enough jabbering from my side, drop down to the comment section below and let us all know what you think of KTM's new beast. Would you give it a home in your garage and if you did, what would you do with it? This thing is a monster. And also, what do you think of manufacturers making limited run editions? It seems to be happening more and more often nowadays. Let us know down below. Well, that's the show for today, everyone. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you think you've learned something new, consider subscribing or becoming one of our patrons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one.